In this video, we will show a comparison of the formability of a part, depending on which tooling is included in the die. This strip is from a die that was designed many years ago without the use of any FEA forming analysis. And so we have already ran an, a, a, a simulation within Progsim and if I look at the potential wrinkles results, we can see in this station where we're forming this flange down that we have a lot of potential wrinkles. And if I take and run the simulation, we can see how that will wrinkle as it forms down. If I look at the tooling on the lower half, you can see we only have included the die, and if I include the upper tooling, up here we have only the form. I am going to go back to the settings and add a form pad on the bottom here to control the material as it's being formed. So I'm going to add a lower pad element. the faces of the pad that I'd like to include. Set the initial force for that pad and the travel. And the opposing tooling will be the form punch from the top. We can see that it is now included in our elements, our tooling elements list. And now I will go to computation and compute this. We can now see as this is forming that the material is being controlled is, and is not wrinkling as it's being formed down because of the pad that was added on the lower. is now working through the following stations beyond that form station, including the trimming. I 
and here's the completed forming analysis. And if we take and look at the same results that we did before, such as potential wrinkles, and then we can progress through that forming stage again. You can see how well controlled that form is. And the results will be much cleaner because of the controlling of the material. You can see how much smoother that is along the bottom edge. And if I show, we do have real, since this was a tool that was actually designed and built, we have real world uh, results that we can show right here between how the tool produce the part without the pad and then with the pad added later and of course that would have uh, cost a lot of time and money to add that pad afterwards here we can see what had happened before we even designed the tool and avoid mistakes like that